Welcome back to TalksTheGeeks.com. Justin here back with more reviews today. And today we're going to be reviewing the manga or comic in this case, Marvel's Secret Reverse. And this is by published by Viz Media. And as always, they give you a brief synopsis. So here we go. Tony Stark travels to Japan to attend a gaming convention. Awaiting his arrival is Rijiro Kayo, the CEO of a world-famous card game company. Kayo plans to unveil an amazing new gaming machine. But the inventor and his device are not at all what they appear to be. And I really wasn't too much of a fan of this one. I did like the art style, but when it comes to story, I think I'm glad they included Spider-Man because Spider-Man made it make a little bit of sense. But Tony Stark going to a gaming convention just kind of seems out of place, even if it is for like kind of like a business move kind of felt out of place there and the, the character of Kyo just screams a Yu-Gi-Oh villain and basically that is kind of the inspiration I mean the guy from Yu-Gi-Oh is kind of behind is behind this project so think of Yu-Gi-Oh meets Marvel and you'll have Marvel reverse so Tony Tony Stark goes in there he finds Peter Parker who's miraculously in Japan for this gaming convention because he said he also had some things that he's doing over in Japan and he and his new friends, who ha one of them has to, happens to be the daughter of the CEO, Kyle, as you see here. And Kyle challenges Tony Stark to the gaming, ga the, the gaming card game. And then we're off to the races. And then, obviously, it's up to the two Marvel heroes to team up to find out what Kyle's plan is, how to get out the game. And that's pretty much the whole gist of the book. I I think with some of the problems I had with the book was probably some of the dialogue didn't really work for me as well. Concept uh the it, the gaming card with Tony Tony Stark it just I don't know it just seems for me out of place out of character. It's not something I personally think Stark would do, but it would have been for me better if it was more of Peter's story than Tony's story because Peter going there and I could you could definitely see like Peter Parker going there and going to a convention and getting wrapped up in the mess like this. This is something definitely Spider-Man would probably do. So that I can definitely see Spidey doing, but as far as anyone else, like Tony Stark, not, not really. Art style, like I said, was pretty good. Nice use of the color palette. But Kyle wasn't really just, he wasn't, I really didn't see him much of a, as a huge, huge threat. Uh, I mean, there are some cool action sequences scenes here that, you know, the game, the, the you know, the card game is pretty good. But it, for me, it wasn't a lot of meat on the bone for this one. So I, I can't really make a, a ugh, so I can't talk today. Can't really recommend this one. Um, it was just bland. It just, yeah, it, it was very disappointing. That's, that's all I'm going to say about this one. This is Justin from MetacolisTheGeeks.com. Catch you on the next one. Later days, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And don't forget to check out our podcasts, our reviews, everything else. And most importantly, visit thetalkersofgeeks.com. Later days.